Hey guys, and welcome back to another video and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen. And today, just to share with you something that I bought and I was a bit concerned, especially because I had two targets in mind for the Raspberry Pi 4. I wanted to cool it down and I wanted to keep it silent. And honestly, I could achieve that with roughly $13 more or less. I will leave a link down below. This particular case is active cooling, but it's totally silent, which was something that I was a bit concerned. Now, it comes in this small package and it's really easy to assemble, similar to the case that I had uh, in the past, the first case. And all we need to do is to, well, it comes with a manual if you have any sorts of problems, but all we need to do is to put in the Raspberry Pi inside. Then it comes with a set of passive coolers that you can see on some images right on screen. And I can show you right over here as well. Mine did not stay that straight, but I do believe that that's not a issue at all. To place the uh, passive uh, radiators right over here, I imagine that this is a mixture of glue and also thermal paste. I can't be sure, but that's the only thing that makes sense to me because only thermal paste, it would not glue and only glue would not transfer the heat the way that it should. Now, it was very easy to implement them right over here, even if they are not straight. And then on the manual, uh, it gives us two options to put the uh, pins for powering the um, fan, which is a 40 millimeter fan. And I was 40 or 20, I'm not really sure right now. I'll leave a link down below, you guys can check it out. I'm not really, I wasn't very sure if it was noisy or not. And that was one of the main concerns. I wanted to keep it cool, but I wanted to be keep on being silent. Now, one of the things that I can show you is the temperatures that I had in the past were roughly 60, even without doing anything special, but with the Plex server and playing videos on Kodi or playing videos on YouTube fast, it would go really fast to 70s, 72, 74, and then it would start to thermal throttle, which is normal. And I'm really happy to say that at this moment, it's going on the 36, 40-ish, when we really push it with Plex server on the background, playing videos on Kodi, playing videos on YouTube, and that's the only way that I can get up to 40. So it's doing a great job at a really affordable price, in my opinion, so this is the solution. So as I was saying, in terms of the sample, just uh, put it in, put in the uh, dissipate, the passive radiators or dissipators, and then plug in the fan and cover it up. The only thing that we need to take caution is the wires on the fan, we need to close it uh, in a way that the wires don't get uh, in the fan or they will make a weird noise. And that's the only noise that we will hear. It happened to me, <laughs> that's why I'm sharing. Other than that, working great. And although it's a simple plastic case, the plastic is not bad at all and it looks nice. It looks like what it is, a mini computer right over here, which in this particular case, the Raspberry Pi 4, which is one of my favorite gadgets. Guys, this is it. I was a bit concerned, I did order it. I'm happy with it and today I can share with you that this is, in my opinion, a great purchase for those that are looking for a case for the Raspberry Pi that has two targets, silent but lowering the uh, temperatures that are really high when we don't have cooling. And that is it. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.